Hi, my name's Annie. I'm a driving instructor and a driving instructor trainer. I help people to pass driving tests and theory tests with my online courses. To sign up for an online driving or theory course, go to my website, which is www.theorytestpractice.online, where you can see all of my courses on there. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the dual carriageways and motorways and explain what the similarities and the differences are between the two types of road. You can go to my YouTube channel to see my video that explains the difference between single carriageway and dual carriageway roads. But today I'm going to talk about the difference between dual carriageway roads and motorways. So firstly, let's talk about the similarities between motorways and dual carriageways. You might expect motorways to have three lanes and dual carriageways to have two lanes, but this isn't always the case. They can both have either two or three lanes. Both dual carriageways and motorways have a central reservation. This means that traffic travelling in one direction is separated from traffic travelling in the other direction by a physical barrier. Like in this picture here. The maximum speed limit on dual carriageways and motorways is 70 miles per hour and both dual carriageways and motorways have slip roads. So although there are quite a few similarities between the two types of road, there are some differences that you need to know to be able to make safe driving decisions and to answer theory test questions correctly. So motorways only allow um, motorised vehicles. So that means no pedestrians, horse riders or cyclists. Learner drivers can only drive on motorways with a fully qualified approved driving instructor, whereas learner drivers can drive on dual carriageways with any accompanying driver, legally accompanying driver. Tractors, uh, mobility scooters and other slow moving vehicles are not allowed to drive on motorways. Motorways have a hard shoulder while dual carriageways generally don't. The right hand lane of a motorway is only there for overtaking. The right hand lane on a dual carriageway is also for overtaking, but it's for turning right as well. Most of the time you'll enter and exit a motorway using a slip road. You can enter a dual carriageway via a slip road, a junction, a roundabout. Roundabouts and traffic lights are extremely rare on motorways. I haven't seen a roundabout, but I have seen traffic lights on slip roads, on, on motorways. But they're very common on dual carriageways. And the junctions on motorways, so where you're going to come off, the junctions are always numbered on motorways. So those are my list of similarities and differences between motorways and dual carriageways. So I hope that's helped you. It should help you make safe driving decisions and help you answer theory test questions correctly. If you 
need to pass a theory test and you want to sign up for my theory test course then please go to my website or you can email me on hello at theorytestpractice.online.